Jeff throws on the hot homestead. I got my walls and my roof up on my outdoor bathroom or maybe bathhouse or maybe I gotta come up with a name guys. I was thinking if we could hang a little sign right there and put a name. What should we call this? A potty wash, a wash and potty. I kinda like the potty wash. So let me know. Be creative. Let's see if we can come up with some cool names. Anyhow, this video is on the walls on the rough. So let's look at what I did. These guy here is just that correlated metal. I cut it to fit. And one panel goes there. I still have to put end pieces on just because as you can see when I get up close here. So I'll just put a uh, corner piece on here. That'll look fine. I won't want to clear up above so that it gives me some additional lighting in here. And during some of the cooler weather, that'll act as a little bit of a greenhouse effect and give you a little uh, extra heat inside. Now, let me explain on what I've done here. I've got this just going down to the cement for the center block floor. But what I've done is I've left this front half open. That there is closed, however not completely closed, because you still have a gap there which allows ventilation for the bathroom. Now I will have a door here. Well, that's not the toilet, but that's going to be right around where the toilet's going to be. So I got enough room to put composting here. There will be some type of door here, but it'll be more of a a a curtain and a door. And I can hang it from up here and across to give you a complete enclosure and kind of strap it on here or something. I'll think of something. But that should give you plenty of room to sit in there, close your door. And be good to go. I went all the way to the, to the edge of the uh, rafter there and over here for this reason. I don't want rain and snow to get in here because this is where I'm going to sit and do my stuff. Now I know some of you are going to think well gee it can just come in this way. Well maybe so but I'm going to have that curtain that's going to come across here and so that's going to block most all of it. Now I left this here open a little bit mainly for ventilation and on this other side is the shower. So the shower head is going to be in this area so it's not going to splash the person taking a, a dump. But in the shower for an example this is a nice 4x4 four four shower. You have fantastic views while you're showering, huh? Is that just like an awesome view while you shower? And then I'll I'll put something on these 2x4s here so that you have a place to put your shampoo and soap and, and all that stuff. And then there will also be a curtain that will go across here as well. Now I will extend and put a kind of a partition type wall here maybe on about 12 inches because I've got these are 16 inches so I've got what 32 right there plus another 8 plus another 3 or 4 inches there so I've got plenty of room there to walk in but here's the reason why I want to put like some type of partition wall here because I've got one of those equal temp water heaters and I'm going to hang that over here the EcoTemp hot water heater, as I'll show you later when I get to that point, I can actually remove it for the winter and put it back in place for the warm weather. So that's going to be kind of nice. Down along here, I want to put a sink right here that will be gravity fed water. And then I'll have underneath in this area here, we'll have the propane tank to run the 
eco temp so I have scorching hot water for the shower and then I'm going to have a battery that will be just simply powered by um, 45 watts on my Harbor Freight panels I'm going to move one of them over here and that way I've got a little battery and a trickle charge in there so that it stays charged to run the water pump for the shower so that way I'll have good flow and all that and then over here on this side I'll have a bench of some type and inside that bench will be whatever I need towels toilet paper whatever I need in here so that people can come in and do their thing and they'll be all right and then obviously like I said I'll have a front door here so that I could be I could be here changing and my buddies could be over there playing horseshoe because I have a horseshoe pit over there. So, but I like the 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 airiness of this. Kind of really gives you an outdoor feel. I'm going to have a rain gutter. I put a a one by six on here, and I'm going to attach a rain gutter on here. And then that rain gutter is going to supply water. These are going to become the foundation for a couple of totes. So I'm going to put some 275 gallon totes back here. That will supply my water for my showers. And then this barrel is going to go over here. I don't know exactly where. But since the sink's going there, I kind of like to hide the barrel back there. So I got to see how much room it's all going to take. If I hide the barrel back there, great. If not, I'll put the barrel over here. It will be raised above the sink. So the barrel will supply water for the sink, gravity fed. And then the water pump will either pump water from the totes to the water tank to the drum and then you can also pump it into the shower so it could draw it from either here or it could draw it from down there so I'll have little switches on the water line so it'll be pretty cool but just that clear polycarbonate I think uh, roofing panels that is eight foot long and uh, I, I want to put some corner pieces on just make that look a little better but yeah this is my outdoor shower I still on these end piece on these pieces down here I need to get some bags of cement and uh, and fill in this gap here and then and then I should be good to go so this is my outdoor bathroom. These are the walls and the roof. So I still got to put the insides and the water supply. But let me know what you guys think so far. And I want to hang a sign right here. Where, or I want to hang a sign right there. What should I put on the sign? Potty wash. Or wash and potty. I like wash and potty. That kind of sounds cool. So be creative. Jeff Arizona Hot Homestead. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. And wow, I guess I'll have to see you guys on the next video.